Welcome back to my animal education series. Today I'm going to do a quick little video about some of the invertebrates that I have. So over here I have some uh, multiple kinds of mantises. I have some millipedes over here. Spread out all through the cages I have isopods. And then down there I have some superworm beetles and I don't exactly know the actual name for those. But that's what I'm going to call them. And as you may notice here my thumb is all wrapped up. Uh, due to an unfortunate event I ended up cutting off the tip of my thumb. So I'm going to take a couple of weeks to recover from that. But I'm going to kind of glance over that and get right to the mantises. So my dad and I first got into it, uh, mantises mostly when we got a giant shield mantis. And we loved having it. It was so cool to watch eat and walk around. So we got a couple more. And then now we're at five. So we have no problem with that. We want to get more because they're just so such cool animals. So let's start off with this big female here. She is a native species of mantis. Let's take the lid off here. She is awesome. She's an awesome eater. We're going to be soon um, upgrading her cage. Let's see if she'll go over here onto the branch. Oh, there she goes. Come on. Or not. But she's super cool. I think we've had her for about two or three months now. And she's just grown and grown. And as I said again, she's an awesome eater. So, oh, now she's going to walk that way. It's going to be difficult to get her back in the cage. But let's just try. Hey, scoot over. Come on, move your leg. Nope, that's not what moving your leg is. We move your leg now? Nope, that's you're not doing that right. Go on. Well, she's not wanting to cooperate, so maybe she'll go over there, I can move on. Okay. Keep walking. Keep going. Hey, okay. there we go. Alright, let's move on. In here, we have another really cool species of mantis. Obviously, they're all really cool, but I really like this one. This is a ghost mantis. And, oh, it's going to be hard to see with the camera. Or maybe I can pick up this leaf here. Here we go. This guy, or girl, I'm not exactly sure, is awesome. I love the wings there, which I actually hope that uh, he or she doesn't fly away. That would suck. Um, but I love um, just how this looks. Like. I'm terrible with all the names and everything thing for it, but I want to say that's an antennae on the top of its head for camouflage. That's just it's awesome looking. Let's not get those mantises too close. I wasn't thinking about that. Let's put them back. Put the lid back on. Try to hurt us up a little bit because I'm kind of being really slow at this. In here we got the dead leaf mantis. We have two of these. This guy is right here. Of course it doesn't blend in with a bunch of the green leaves we have in there. But when we eventually move them into a cage with more uh, foliage, especially now that it's fall, we can put some fall leaves in there. Just like with some of the millipedes over there, it'll blend right in. These mantises are super cool. We had one before, and mantises don't typically live very long. Um, typically about 9 or 10 months, that's about their average lifespan. So, once our first dead leaf mantis passed away, we knew we had to get some more. Is this the dead leaf here? Nope, that's the next one. Here's the other dead leaf. Looks pretty much just like, well, not pretty much. It looks exactly like the other one. But... I just creased the container. So let's get him out real quick. Hey buddy. There he is. Kind of hard to see. There he is, just like the other guy. I'm trying to stop the shaking, but that's not working. So I apologize about that. Don't know if the camera's able to focus on it or not. And she's coming over here to check out the rest of the mantises. Put him back over there. In here, we have the male. 
of what I assume is the same species. And he is another native. I'm assuming it's a male. Oh, I didn't see him on the lid. So here, here he is. Typically there's um, some species dimorphism among the species. So this male here is a lot smaller than the female over here. I don't know what she's doing. But I'm just going to let her do her thing. Just put him back in there. Let's move on to the millipedes. Now I'm definitely down a hand. So which species is this? We have two species of millipedes. And once I find them... Oh, these are the Texas Goldens. Here's some of the odd lights I was telling you about. But if you'll zoom in right in there, they have this beautiful like yellow like or golden color to them. And these guys are super cool. So we are feeding all of the mantises like some crickets. And at first we thought like the crickets kind of be proportional to their head shape. But we found out that mantises can actually eat crickets a better like, look really big for them. So even these small dead leaves are eating like medium crickets. And these guys are like her, she's eating multiple large crickets. And then we're feeding these millipedes. Oh, these next ones are the ivory millipedes. But these guys were eating, um, what are you doing? We're feeding them pieces of apple, we got carrots, um, leaves and some of this wood, like organic matter. Where's he? Oh, there he is. He's under. But both of them are under that leaf there. They're right there in front of the log. Um, these guys are also super cool. They don't do a whole lot, but they're just beautiful animals, and when they walk around, it's mesmerizing. That's one of my favorite parts of the is getting to watch them walk around. I don't know what this crazy lady's doing over here, but I keep letting her do her thing. Actually, I'd rather you get back on the wood, personally, but... So, the all the isopods that I have are spread out in different cages, and I have a whole video on that if you guys want to see which cages they went into and what species I have. I believe I have four species, three or four species. And um, over time as we've cleaned the cages, which it makes it a little bit more difficult to clean cages and reorganize because we want to make sure that every isopod lives. So we're there for like a half hour, 40 minutes, picking through all the soil and finding each and every isopod. But it's worth it because they do a good job. It's awesome to like lift up a piece of wood or a leaf and just see isopods down there. So uh, off the top of my head, I know we have um, spotted or Dalmatian isopods, um, zebra isopods. I can't remember the other two, but you will find out in the video. And then down here, once I figure out what she's doing, we have super worm beetles. And as I mentioned in the quick little zoo uh, update and video update that I did, um, we feel bad killing them, so we just put them in this little environment down here that I can't really get right now because one, I'm down a handed because the mantis. But it's down there, I'll get another shot of it here in a second. So we took a quick pause to clean up the set and get some of these beetles. I'm trying to not crush them with the apple. But here they are. These are some superworm beetles that happen whenever your animal doesn't eat uh, superworms in the enclosure. And um, again, we just feel bad killing them, so here they are. We have a nice little environment with rocks, and apples, other um, organic leftover uh, fruits and vegetables that we have, branches. They basically have their own little nice little ecosystem that we set up for them until they eventually pass away. Um, I don't know what a bunch of other people do with their beetles once, like, if they catch them, but this is what we do. We feel it's a more, like, humane way, but we just don't want to take care of them, really. So, that's a little update on my invertebrates that I have. The beetles, mantises, um, I touched on the isopods and the millipedes. Um, so, hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video. Just kind of a little one take I did. So, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. 
Don't forget to leave a big thumbs up down below, subscribe to my channel, and also check out my Instagram, at Cole Shirk. As always, I'll see you next time.